talk about like how that move is and it's scary because you even the pedigree alone you can't really protect yourself you're just this guy is driving your head into the mat yeah. weight, basically um but yeah, yeah that's gotta be even worse with the handcuffs right yeah it's like you can't protect yourself in any way you're just it's like hey there's the ground Let's gonna take it <laughs> turn your face don't break your nose <laughs> your face. I, I don't know if that was the worst part the pedigree because it was that chair shot that looked even worse yeah, yeah. Worse. It made me wince. True. Mm -hmm. I was like kind of surprised they went the whole chair shot to the head. Yeah. Maybe. I wonder yeah. if Triple H is going to find himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, well, no, Mike, no, no. Mike, I, I'm Mike, being serious because, because he and Taker did chair cool. shots to the head, yeah. and they both got fined. Yeah. Uh, well, no, Mike or Matt? Well, yeah, I, this is going to be a bit of a tangent, but this is definitely a point I wanted to make. Um, as most of you guys know, I have a a four-year-old son who is in love with watching wrestling, and part of the reason that I like the fact that it's TV PG is because there are things that they don't do on on Raw anymore that we kind of grew up seeing, like hitting each other in the head. I've told this story to maybe one or two of you, where my four-year-old got a he went to do the steel chair playing with his other action figures, and he wouldn't hit his other action figures in the head with the steel chair. He always hit him on the back. So now we're watching this segment at the end of Raw on Monday night. My wife and I are actually having to have the conversation because we no end up DVRing Raw so that he can watch it later, and we're having the conversation. Should we let him watch the end of Raw from Monday night because that go a little bit too far? They have these rules in place for a reason, you know, and it's for parents like me. That we could feel comfortable letting our kids watch Raw, and they pushed it across the line a little bit on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least at least instead of showing them the end of Raw, you can show them those episodes of Slam City, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gonna throwing hot coffee in people's faces, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna start That's picking. Worse. He's gonna start picking you your nose. <laughs> he's gonna be like trying to squish Big Show into a matchbox car. <laughs> well, well, like like I said on, on Monday night, um, going back to the old Dan O'Brien and Triple H thing, it was like the wrestling equivalent of the Passion of the Christ. Yeah, it did feel he like He just, that. like, beat him. So, like,